What's up, guys? It's your boy, Anime Boom, and I am back for another video. And I want to talk about Miles Morales' voice actor wanting to play live-action Miles Morales because they just announced a Miles Morales live-action coming out soon. Okay, y'all. To pop it off, I want to talk about Into the Spider-Verse. So... Back in like 2017, 2018, the trailer for Into the Spider-Verse came out. And I was like, wow, this style, the look of it. I remember seeing the trailer. I was like, the look of this looks amazing. But I didn't really understand it really, the storyline or whatever. So I just kind of was like, okay, this is just like all those other superhero cartoon movies and stuff. Y'all know what I'm talking about. DC does, all, does them all the time. So I was like, anime movies ain't really that big of a deal. But then... Around that time, it started about. It was about to come out. Everybody, I think, started to oh, this looks really cool. Like this is really cool. And then the movie was a banger. It was a hit. The storyline was amazing, and the, the the animation was also like, oh my gosh, it was amazing. And one of the the newest Spider Man characters that was popping was Miles Morales. Miles Morales is an Afro Latino character. And he got his powers uh, uh, from a spider. Sometimes he gets the powers from a spider. He gets his power from other stuff sometimes, too. But uh, then Spider-Man, in some of the stories, trains him and teaches him how to become the next Spider-Man. That's kind of Miles Morales' story. So Miles Morales just became such a big character. I feel like everybody was talking about him. And eventually we all knew like okay when is he coming to the mcu when is this gonna happen because he's so big now he's almost up there with the peter parkers now he's a new spider-man and he's cool you don't really see black spider-mans like that so that was pretty cool so he was waiting on a live action and now shameek moore the voice actor for miles from house is saying that he wants to play the live action version of it too so i want to get my thoughts on that Okay, we all know what the MCU is. They've been making superhero movies super big. And before the MCU, I know these Spider-Man movies was coming out and becoming super big also. They were bigger than the MCU at a point in, now the MCU's past it, but those movies are iconic too. Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, and Tom Holland have been carrying. And now people are ready for that live action, Miles Morales live action, because spider-verse did so well and people are uh expecting them to put him in the mcu so we're waiting on that i remember in a uh, homecoming spider-man homecoming they had a scene where uh uncle aaron was in that movie and and in the, i think in the deleted scene he actually was talking to miles around saying he wasn't gonna be home on time because something happened so we got teased that miles morales is uh, could be in a live action, and people want it, people are ready for it, and I think it's, we gotta wait a little bit, but it, that don't even matter, but my main thing with the live action is that the person just has to look the right age, with these Spider-Mans, they've picked people that just look super old, Tom Holland was a great pick, Tom Holland was a great pick, and they have to start picking people that just don't look, uh, 30, like, Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield both looked old, Tom McGuire did not look like he was in high school. And Andrew Garfield did not look like he was in high school. So, I just want to talk about Shemeek more how I feel about him wanting to do this. And I really don't want to give a negative opinion on it, but I, I, I have to. But I'm going to tell you the positives of it, too. Okay. To start it off, I want to talk about his age. His age is a very important thing, but I will say this. I think people are overdoing it, and it's some stuff people are being a little harsh on him about and not uh, being mad, at, being harsh on another actor about. And first of all, I feel bad doing this because I could really, like, this could, they could see this and be like, like, he can't be the live action Miles Morales. But I'm just giving my opinion. I feel about him being live. He's just too old. 
He's just too old. Miles Morales, I look at as a, a teenager, like 14 years old. Like a 30-year-old should not be playing a 14-year-old. That just does not sound right. That Spider-Man in the uh, PlayStation 4 games looks weird because he looks old. And I just don't want uh, Shameek Moore to be put in that Tobey Maguire group. He's just too old to play Spider-Man. And now this is where I caught the fans because... The voice actor that plays Gwen, and she's 26, he's 28. That's not that much of a difference. She d- she can't play Gwen either. If we're going to say that about him, we have to keep it the same. We have to, we have to be honest about her, too. She cannot be her either. She's 26. It's going to look like Tobey Maguire, too. And she like 16, 17 and stuff. She does not look 16, 17. She looks like she would have been in a movie with Tobey Maguire. She does not look Tom Holland's age. That's where we have to... He does not look Tom Holland's age. So, if Shameek Moore can't play uh, Miles, then she can't play him either. And and then it's another thing about, like, uh, I guess he's not the right race or whatever. I think Shameek Moore is, uh, he has, uh, he's like a Jamaican and African-American. I think he said that in the interview. He uh, was born in Jamaica, and but lived in Atlanta. I, I forgot, but the point is, is that he's not Afro-Latino, and people have been talking about that, too. And I kind of agree. I kind of agree. But that's not, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. But probably that, too. He probably can't play uh, Miles because of that, either. But the age thing, just be fair. Y'all you know, talk about the actors and stuff. But he is too old to play Miles Morales. I'll say that. Okay, and I want to talk about in across the Spider Verse. Now, oh, man, he should be so proud of the Spider Verse movies, and I know he is. He's proud of those movies. I but I mean, like, he shouldn't even care to be a live action Miles Morales. These movies are so great. I wouldn't care to even play a live action version of Miles Morales. I would just love to keep doing these animated movies. Your voice acting the character, you do such a great job. Miles is one of my favorite kids. The way he uh, voice acts him is amazing. Top, he's one of the best Spider-Mans. He might be, like, <laughs> that, I don't know. He might be up there. He might be the top. I think he's better than Tom Holland Spider-Man. Tom McGuire, he's better than I'm sorry. Tom, some stuff in there is just, it's like the relationship with uh, Mary Jane sometimes and the drama and how old he was and the way he acted. He acted kind of creepy and he looked 30. Andrew Garfield is cool, but his movies suck. So he might honestly be the best Spider-Man. It's possible. And Tom Holland sometimes be acting dumb. So I think he should be just really proud of the movie. The movie was great. The cliffhanger and then the next movie that's coming out, that better come out in 2024. And I'm just ready to see where Miles goes. You got the ending scene where he's talking to his like uh, other universe version of himself. So I'm ready to see that though. But I think that's what he should be probably more focused on. That um into the Spider-Verse story. Cause I just love those movies a lot. They're like in there for my top animated movies. So yes, I don't think he should be wanting to do those live action uh movies and stuff, like where we've seen the same Spider-Man swinging stuff and we've seen everything that we could see. I think he should just let the uh MCU keep doing those movies, and they've been kind of bland, so, yeah, I don't want to see that, really, and if they're gonna do it, they're gonna have to do it, like, 10 years in the future to me, if I'm gonna be interested, so, yes, he should not do no, uh, he should just be proud of those animated movies. Okay, I want to talk about the people I feel like can be casted as like a live action Miles Morales. I know uh the kid off of Blackish, I think he is Afro Latino. And he looks like he he looks young. So I think uh, somebody around his age and I know the kid from Stranger Things is an Afro Latino, but somebody just around his age should be playing Miles Morales. So you actually feel like yo, this is a teenager that lives in the same world as, like, Tom Holland Spider-Man. Because I'll tell, Tom Holland 
was perfectly casted. He looked like he was like 14. And he was like almost 14 at the time, maybe 60. He was supposed to be 16, but he was like probably 19, 18 or something when he was doing the Civil War movie. But they did a good job. Tom Holland, Zendaya. And Zendaya was like young too. All of them, Ned, they all looked their age. So when I'm seeing uh, Miles next to um Miles next to Tom Holland Spider Man, I need somebody around the kid from Stranger Things uh uh Stranger Things age, so we can feel that. So yes, just around that age. I'm sorry, um Shameek Moore, but maybe it was a couple years ago. Maybe back uh not even adult movies. They gotta be when he was like younger, younger. It's just a, it's just a, you have to look a certain age. Like I was, uh, it's, it's just a lot to it. It's just a lot to it. But just tell me how y'all feel about that. Do y'all think he should be casted as a Miles Morales? Do y'all think, uh, the race and all of that stuff just does not matter? And do y'all think I'm hating? And I hate just, uh, prob maybe being like the person responsible for him not getting the part. But if he gets the part, I'm not going to be mad because, like as a black man seeing another black man succeed, it's just it's I'm, I would just be happy. Like it, 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 I just be happy. I don't like to see people fail. I don't like seeing people fail. So tell me how y'all uh, feel about that, and I'll see you on the next video. Anime, boom, my peace.